Hi there. Welcome to Season AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. If you are joining us for the first time, please give us a follow by clicking the follow button and share to five people. Thank you very much. Um, what I'd like you to do right now, um, also, don't forget, go to YouTube, subscribe. So hit follow, share to five people, and help us reach more people. Um, this is a local government chairman from the north in Nigeria. Apparently, what's happened is that he, uh, when he got into position, he had a lot of uh, local government funds that he stole. He took the money and he pocketed the money. And the area were not happy, so they decided to met out their own justice to him. And um, what you see him there doing, he's not actually climbing the tree. Oh no, he's getting a um his justice being meted out. He's you know he's getting some lashes on his back. But I'm not gonna show you that because you know it's not um they, this will be brought down. But I'm just showing you what it was um what um happened. I will show you moments before you will hear him beg moments before <laughs> before he got the lashes um and uh he was begging and he was he was you know um i think whilst i actually think it's something that you know they've taken action which is good um the the community but i i would now like to actually implore the community to now participate in their governance so they do not wait they shouldn't be waiting around and going, oh, okay, it's when he's stolen that we'll act. If we start participating from the minute they are all in, in all our communities, and start questioning them using section 14.2a and 14.2c in our local languages, even this thing, I've translated it into Hausa. I'll show you on the screen if I can get a copy of what I've done. I'll, I'll put it in. I'll actually put it in here so you can see it in Hausa. So it goes like this. Section 14 2A. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. That's Section 14 2A. Now they have that version in Hausa. I don't know. I can't speak it, but I will share the, the text on the screen um, when I finish this broadcast. Now, the second part that the community need to know of is section 14.2c. The participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. What they've done now is fine. I understand they wanted to really make an example of him. That's good. But now, it is now evident that they must participate because unfortunately, what will happen is he will be dealt with in this way he will say, no, I won't do it again. But others may still come after a while and do the same thing. The best way to stop any kind of um, corruption or looting by the councillors is to constantly monitor their actions. You guys have the power. And Section 14.2c, the participation by the people in the government, shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. means that you can question the local government chairman, the state house of, as a, a house of assembly members, the... Um, uh, House of Reps and Senators, and you can recall any of those people. You have the power to recall on that section, section 1, uh, section 69 for the House of Reps and Senators, and section 110 for the uh, local government, uh, uh, state House of Assembly members. And the local government equally, I believe, is under the same thing. Uh, it can be instituted by the state um, by a simple majority. That can be um, once you put that forward. Um, so, please, we need to take collective action. Let us not wait until they loot the money. If we are monitoring what we're doing, and that's why I keep saying it, we have to participate in our governance on a daily basis. You have the power to call a town hall meeting. You need to organize a town hall meeting. Have a local community association where you will be questioning them on where the monthly allocation is going. That way, they will not be able to steal. If you do not 
participate on a monthly basis. They will steal the money. It's only after they steal it then you start talking. That is too late then. You need those funds to be building your roads, your schools, your hospitals, your, uh, uh, your, your, your um, streets, your lights, your water, and so on and so forth. So we, the citizens, it is our role as sovereigns to participate in our governance, to monitor the actions of the, gov of, of the government. That is our role. They've brainwashed us long enough with all of this stuff about prayer nonsense. Prayer will not help anything. I'm telling you, if you do not participate in your governance, you will not get the oasis that we deserve as a community. So we need to begin to participate in our governance. So I hope that makes sense. What are your thoughts? I'll, you, I'll show you the video. Leave a comment. But I urge you all, please, make sure that every community um, knows 14.2a and 14.2c in our local language and in English. And get what? Guess what? You can actually get the State House of Assembly to write the constitution in your language and to their deliberations in your language. As long as more than two-thirds of the uh, State House of Assembly agree to it, that can happen. So we have a lot of influence. It is time we start using it. Do not wait for any God or any Allah up above to come and help you. We need to help ourselves on the ground by participating in our governance. So um, you're watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak to the power. What did you think about what I just said now? What are your thoughts on the suggestion I put forward that we must participate in our governance? I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm telling you it's the only choice we have. If we don't participate in our governance, then we will not get the OECs that we truly deserve. We will be impoverished. Our lack of participation has meant that our we don't get roads, we don't get water, we don't get lights, we don't get hospitals, we don't get bridges. And we mustn't allow the um, politicians to frighten us. The more all of us stand together in our community and demand our sovereign, uh, exercise our sovereign right to hold them to account, the weaker the plans they have to try and uh, get us to be afraid of them whilst they loot from us. We need to take collective action together. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching this day why the platform where we speak truth to power. Leave a comment after this and let us hear your thoughts. Thank you once again. Thank you and bye for now. Please do share. Don't forget, follow, uh, hit the follow and share to five people um, that you know. Help us reach more people. Thank you so very much. Uh, you're watching this is the platform where we speak truth to power. Thank you. Bye for now.